Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix your gaming keyboard when it's not working on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration, as simple as it may sound, is to restart your computer. So press the Windows button using your mouse of course, click on the power icon and then select the restart option. Now this may sound simple but it will solve many hardware connection issues. So just try it out and then check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to restart your Bluetooth option. Now, if your keyboard is Bluetooth based, make sure to click on the Wi-Fi speaker and battery icons and then simply turn on the Bluetooth option and then off. This will restart the Bluetooth feature and then you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to use the keyboard troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button and click on settings. Afterwards, click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on other troubleshooters and in here scroll way down until you find the get help option, click on it and now in the search box simply type keyboard is not working. Now in here you'll be able to find a lot of solutions for your issue and Windows will try to fix your keyboard automatically. Then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to update or uninstall your keyboard drivers. And you'll get what I mean. So right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. And now in here in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Keyboards. Then right click on your problematic keyboard and select the Update Driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available drivers on your PC. But if this doesn't work properly, you can also uninstall the very same keyboard by right clicking on it and selecting uninstall device. Now click on uninstall to confirm the selection and afterwards simply restart your computer. Then you'll see that device manager will try to automatically reinstall the drivers for your keyboard and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.